Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm gonna do a journal with me video in my Midori A5 one day one page diary. Um, just in case you're new to my channel, uh, I actually split this booklet into two booklets because it's way too thick to use in uh, like a full year in a year for me because I love to put in paper ephemeras, I love to do the layering. So as you can see, just by half a year, uh, it's pretty thick right now. It's pretty bulky. So and I've tried using like a whole year in one booklet in my uh in the A6 size. When by the time I come to like half a year, it's pretty difficult to do any stamping or even, you know, put in my writing. So it's it's pretty bulky and it's curving in various places, which is difficult for you to do stamping on the pages directly. So anyway, uh, just a short story uh, explanation why my Midori one day one page diary looks different from others. I sort of modify it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's start. Now the reason I'm doing a journal with me in this Midori A5 is because I want to show you guys the new stamp that I got. I think I mentioned it in my previous video. And furthermore, um, yeah, I think sometimes it's very refreshing to journal in a different size than I usually journal. Normally, I'll journal in my Hobonichi A6, which is uh, my prioritized or priority journal because it's dated and I do not want to be behind for too, you know, too many days. So that is my priority journal, but I still love my A5 as well because there's more spaces, more, play, uh, more spaces to be more creative. So let's start now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I think this is better, right? Yeah, but before we start, like I said, I want to show you guys the new stamp that I got. I think I just did a quick, uh, like, I don't know, no, show in my previous video. So this is the brand of the stamp, sorry, Dark Room Door by Rachel Craig. And these are all her, um, I guess, um, websites. That you can visit. It's an Australian Australian brand. Yep, I got this directly from Dark Room Door. So this is like a postcard from Rachel. Thank you for your order. Have fun creating. So let's see what did I get. Uh, so I got this like a quote, inspirational quote stamp. Two of it. If you never try, you'll never know. I like this quote. I'm, uh, it's my motto anyway. I love to remind myself that I have to try everything if I wanted to you know, achieve something or if I wanted to change. Because you never try, you'll never know what's going to happen, right? Uh, I think the important thing is to ensure that you do not regret in future. I think I mentioned this before as well. I do not want to have... Uh, at one moment or at the time in my life which I question myself what if I've done that what if you know I've made that decision so this if you never try you never know so just give it a try and another one all life is an experiment the more experiments you make the better quote stamp there are a lot of quote stamps so I just got this two which I love so this is what it looks like it's a cling on stamp I've used this show you guys it's pretty big so this is my a5 as you can see so it fitted i mean the the size fitted the a5 very very well so this is a cling i use this so this is a cling on stamp it has a cling on foam right so this too is the quote stamp and i got this collage stamp i think it has a bigger size right like the a5 type but I think it's a bit too big. So I like this because it's, you can use it as one or you can actually separate it. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's a cling on stamp. And I have this like a sentiment stamp. So there, there is a few of this. I choose this one. Adventure is out there. Uh, I think this stamp is called Adventure. Yep. This one is called Steampunk Squares. There are a few collages stem. I think there are flowers type and a lot of others, but I choose this steampunk squares. And this is quote stem. Uh, one is called experiment and one is called try. This is my favorite, the try. And this is adventure. 
so I choose the adventure. I think there are a lot more sentiment stamps, and this type is a a long stamp, <laughs> right? It has all the adventure quotes here. Explore the world on the road, paradise found, enjoy the journey. So again, if you want to use it as one, then you can use it just like this. Else, you can actually cut it out. I'm not too sure whether I want to cut it out. We'll see. <laughs> because um, it's pretty near, you know, between the wordings. All right, so maybe I will just stamp it out and cut out the wordings that I want. But again, then you will never be able to use the stem directly on your journal, right? But some of the stems are like so so near. Oh, maybe this. Every day is a new adventure. So every day is a new adventure. Yep, so you'll be able to have these two together. Yeah, I think if I want to, I'll be able to cut it. I'll see how it goes. Next, I have this box type. So you have, um, it's called rubber stamp, and this is called correspondence, this team. So here it says that uh, trim stamp using fine tip craft scissors. Peel off white backing paper. Place stamp onto a clear acrylic block for stamping. Store stamp in case provided. So they give a, a, like a container for you. For easy storage. Let's have a look. It's like a DVD case. Wow. So, uh, yeah, you can trim this because there are spaces between each design. Yeah. Just right. So once you cut it, you can actually stick it here. You know, there is a cling on form. So this is what this looks like. And I have this floral type. It's like a shadow floral. It's called Gathered Flowers. And I have this, which is called Enjoy Life. I, I'm very excited to, to use this later in my journal, hopefully, because it looks like it's a black and white theme. I think it look very good, right? And last but not least, this is called word labels. Uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I have a thing for labels. I love, love, love labels. Gorgeous. And, and a perfume stamp, I bought this too. This is like a stencil, small stencil. It has, I think, a bigger one. But I thought the wording might be smaller, but this is like pretty huge. But anyway, this is what it looks like. So now, Let's start with my journal with me. I think I want to use this first. I want to cut this out. I think I should do it off camera, you know? Then show you guys how did uh how uh what it, what will it look like because you know it's not easy to trim the stem with the foam on, right? And most of the time you have to keep your scissors straight. I think I showed this in my last video that I, you know, trim through the foam with when I do the DIY stamping on the wooden block. And your stem your, your scissor has to be straight in this way. It can't be slanting left or right. Else you will the stem will go will be slanting the worst part is slanting in. If it's slanting in means like this wording, it won't have support underneath. So when you press the stem down, you might not get an image from this. So you have to keep your scissors like straight in this way and not slide in something in or out. Alright, so maybe I use a thick bigger scissor. Ta-da! Pimples. Now it, the instruction says use a what? Um fine tip craft scissor. But this is pretty thick. Right? How are you gonna use a fine tip to cut through this? Okay, let's just try, shall we? Okay, so it's not super difficult, but yet it's not easy too. Like I said, you have to ensure your scissors is straight. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of... Anyway, um, I think it's still okay. So I got this out. This is the most difficult to cut. 
because it's, it's, it's in between this you know all these other images so yeah and you have to turn it as yeah this is the easiest this is still okay and here I have this which I didn't separate the two because yeah I think it looks better if it's together postcard so it'll be like a design on top and I didn't separate these two either I think it will look good together too but I think if you want to separate it you can not too sure just leave it at the moment and I have this so it's a bit difficult to cut from the feather as well it's pretty near as you can see yep and the feather well maybe I trim a little it's like all this um, edgy edgy like it's pretty sharp sticking out so I just trim a little so this is the feather and last but not least is this wording stamp I mean sentence stamp and as you can see um, I have no choice because I have to cut through all the this part which is pretty difficult to maneuver and yeah so it did slant a bit hopefully I can still get a clear image from this one so let's try this so I've peeled off all the paper backing and I put it here and this big piece I think I'll just put it here just stay put oh no maybe I can't put the big piece here because can it close together uh, it will never mind I'll adjust it later so let's just try this on my journal so I think I'm gonna stamp it right here use my Tim Holtz huge acrylic block okay so the top part is the part that I didn't cut so it must be straight then so use the grid as a guide to ensure your stem is straight and now let's use Sachihata this rubber is a very high quality red rubber stem so uh, the image is pretty well etched just that you know because I cut the way I cut it, it might affect the outcome of the image. Now let's just try. Hopefully I can get a good image. I'm going to stamp it right here as a backing. Moment of truth. Ta-da! Wow, it's gorgeous. I can still get the sight. So it's pretty awesome. So you have to actually do like a puzzle to put everything back together as how it is, else it wouldn't fit. Right now it's just like fitting just nice. Right? And it won't come off, right? It won't fall. So it's just perfect. The challenge is to cut it properly. So that's that. And I want to put a girl sticker here. This is from Amie or Aimi or I don't know how to pronounce it. It's from um, um, this Mind Wave. Yep. So this other design. And yep, Mind Wave made in Japan. So I got this simple girl, and I think I want this girl, this this particular one, this one, yeah, black and white, which I love. Let me put this back. I don't have to trim anything because. Uh, there's not much white space at the side so I'm just gonna put this here just 
just cover up the word a little bit and that's absolutely gorgeous right and I want something here maybe across um like across um, what do you call this across uh, a deco here I need a piece of paper so I'm gonna use this use this so I'm gonna stamp it right here ah, it's still the paper is still a bit big right so okay I'm gonna stamp it right here maybe here so I can have some numbering on top um, where is my there we go Sachihata Uh, this stamp is from Taobao. It's from Miao House. I bought a few of the big stamp from Miao House. The quality is very very good. I did an unboxing for this if I'm not mistaken. All right. So I'm just gonna stamp it right here. Challenge is to make it straight because this is lined paper. So if it's not straight, it's pretty obvious. I like it uh, that it has a little rabbit here, so cute. Let's just make sure I got all the image down. One thing about big stem is sometimes it's pretty hard to get a clear image, right? On every side. Ta da! So normally I like to stem it on a piece of paper because you can control. The image if you stamp it directly on your journal and sometimes your journal you know it's bulky it's not like super flat then you may not get uh, like a, all the images down properly I'm gonna use this again this is from Mail House same same source <laughs> it's a bit crooked I think it's meant to be that way so that it can layer with other things um, maybe to put this onto, put it here, and I layer it with this, right? Then I think it'll look like, you know, I do not know what it'll look like, but, it, I mean, it might look good. It might not, but it might. <laughs> I think I want to use red, red, or white, uh, blue, dilemma. I think I'm gonna use a blue here and a red here. Hmm. I'll just use black. No harm in trying. If it really bothers me after I put this color, then I can just cut it off. <laughs> yeah. My brain is not working that well today because you know I've started working the nighttime shift like I mentioned before in my new job so I'm still, I'm still trying to adjust my sleeping pattern needs time but right. uh, I'm pretty excited about it so yeah it needs time but I think um, yeah I think it'll look I mean I will handle it um properly i would say i mean yeah i think it looks not too bad i'm not sure what i'm talking about just ignore me <laughs> so i think it looks pretty okay right i think just need a small circle stem you know like the postmark uh where's my postmark stem postmark stem should be is it here no, it's not. <laughs> Where did I put my postmark stamp? Hold on, guys. Um, there we go. <clears throat> Ta-da! So I'm going to put a small circle one. Bigger than this. Maybe this one. No, 
just do some layering. Does it look okay now? Yeah, I think it looks okay now. So I'm going to put this in my journal. I want it to be a bit cross page. Just a little bit, so maybe this way. Yeah. Okay. Where is my glue stick? I'm actually pretty sleepy right now. <laughs> but you know, uh, I haven't really like started working yet because I haven't received my laptop. There's something, uh, some issue with the laptop delivery, so I'm still waiting for that. By right, I should get it today. So yeah, but anyway, I think this is a good chance for me to really sort of uh, train myself to this new sleeping pattern. Now I have two options. I either can sleep in the morning or early evening. Now I try to do early evening because it's closer to night time, you know, so that my body will regulate faster, I would say. But again, I thought it'll be easy. <laughs> it's not. Um, but you know, I'm still first week into this new new environment, new sleeping pattern, so I need to give myself some time too, right? I can't force myself too much. I mean, I'm human, right? Human needs time to, to change their sleeping pattern. A lot of people did advise me that, you know, it's, it's not good for my health and things like that, but I mean, I'm not like, you know, not sleeping at all. I do sleep, just that the timing of my my sleeping pattern is different. Anyway, just me babbling. So that is down now. I want to do some. I love this. This is like, I do not know, a freebie I got, I think. So it's an old paper, uh, old magazine. Which have this, um, what do you call this? The advertisement. So I think I wanted this one. I wanted to do like this. Hmm. The color too similar. Never mind. I can still keep this and use it for other things. So maybe I just get a paper labels. I have lots of this purple. Now I think I want this one, a grayish one. Go with the grayish. Stem something here. Wording stem. Maybe I use this the new stem that I got. The dark room stem. The postcard stem. Um postcard supposed to be the bottom like this. So uh, one thing that if you didn't really cut cut it as per what the wording is like, you can't see it. That's one downside of it though. But the images, everything, the quality is awesome. No doubt about that. I think this is like the downside for cling on stem that is not transparent. And that you do not have image at the back. So you can't really see whether it's straight. Right? You have to ensure it's straight when you put this down. This is lucky because this is like at the end of this corner, so it's guaranteed straight. So I just use that as a ballpark of, yeah, to, to measure. This is how I clean my stem, by the way. All type of stems. Transparent, cling on, wooden, <laughs> acrylic, or whatever it is. This is how I clean it. So here. Hmm, a lot of those paper residue. And I just... It's pretty... I mean, you, yeah, you can keep this easily and it protects your stem. 
you know awesome so here I'm gonna just do I want the cross page or I can just do it this way I think I can do it like this and I put something else here right okay let's just put this down first too many cross page deco will actually push my pages yeah whoopsie I think I mentioned this before too you push my pages out from the binder so I still limit my cross page deco when I meant when, what I meant by pushing as you can see the pages is coming out it's, it's not within the binder anymore look you can see it clearly here yeah you see can you see that whoopsie come on focus yeah look it's pushing the pages out and here is better because i stopped doing the cross page deco but you know uh, i don't try to sort of limit myself just because you know things like this happen you know i, I still love to do some cross page uh, cross page deco uh, i want to get something here hold on guys I did do some my own stamping the other day using my new stamp. So let me see. This looks oh I like the red one too. The, oh the purple one stands up more? No, I think the purple one can be put right here. Right? Yep. And this is gorgeous too. put that right there too there we go so i stand this on some color paper vintage color paper and it looks good oh i'm sorry if you guys are like can't see because you know a5 is big <laughs> so this i will put here over here I want to be like it's part of this paper so there we go you know I'm thinking whether I wanted to do a live journal with me session would you guys like that you know um, YouTube can now do live, right? I mean, ages ago. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure because it depends on my working hours as well. So I was thinking, you know, maybe we can do it. I can do a live, and all of you can join me to do a journal with me session, and you all can ask me question there and there, and, and I can answer. Hmm, now I thought this is a bit like out of the space. No, I think this is okay. I just need something as the backing. I'm just taking this. Do I need a small one or a big one? A big one would be better. Hold on, guys. Let me check. No, it's too big. So I need a small one. Um, but I do not want this pattern. Excuse me. I do not want this pattern. Oh, this is so cute. Did this do? No, because um, I think I need something like squarish and empty. Maybe this one. Oopsie. Yeah, I think this would look good. Yeah, like I was saying, I was thinking I can do a live journal with me and you guys can join me and we can journal together. Um, I do not mind, you know, how many people joining the live, maybe two or three or ten, it will be fine with me because I think it's just like, you know, a get together and you just have some fun. So let me know what you guys think. And I know that most of you are in the US and since I'm now working as, uh, I'm working on the US timing, so I think... That's why I have this thought of doing a live journal with me. So, you know, 
we can have some fun together. So do let me know by commenting down below and let me know what is the you know the days and the time that would be a best time for us to just have a journal with me session together. Right? You know, I can't promise whether I can do that, right? But I'm hoping we can do something like that. Wow, I think that's, yeah, that's about it. Completed my deco. So I love, love, love these stamps. Definitely gonna use more of the dark room stamp in my journal. After I sort of trim it, <laughs> I guess, I have to just get through that challenge. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. And do comment below on my live journal with me session suggestion whether you guys interested in it if it's not it's fine anyway i'm just thinking about it and like i said i do not mind how many people is joining even if it's one or two i mean you know it's just for those who are uh, have, who have the same passion as me so i welcome anyone and again let me know the, the days and the time of your preference and let me know your time zone too because i need to then convert to my own time zone to see when is the uh, uh more convenient time for everyone to join and again thank you guys all for the lovely comments i may take time to reply them uh, but i do appreciate all those lovely comments those encouragement and i do read them just that sometimes you know i use my phone for everything right so sometimes it's very it's takes time to sort of type through all the comments and things like that so i will try to find a time where i can respond to everyone in one go so please uh bear with me i do reply to all your comments and i really really read to all your comments and again sorry for babbling <laughs> thank you guys for joining me and i hope uh you guys will stay healthy happy and what is one more that i always say stay healthy stay happy and stay safe yeah you see now my mind is in a flourish condition um love you guys bye thanks for watching